40% of food produced in the U.S. is wasted. This means that all of the resources it took to grow that food are wasted as well, including money, water, energy, and time. Given those factors, $165 billion are lost each year. Food recovery is an operation that deals with the retrieval of wasted or unwanted food, and then redistributing it towards a more preferable cause, as well as redirecting the waste from the landfills. In San Diego, an estimate of 600,000 tons of food waste is generated annually, 39% of which comes from homes. For an average family of four, food waste equates to about $1,500 a year. That's slightly over $125 a month being wasted from your hard-earned paycheck. The EPA has a food waste hierarchy that gives the steps to divert organics. The first level is source reduction. Reducing inventory on the front end can reduce the amount of waste on the back. Source reduction is accomplished through making lists, inventory and supplies, and buying less. Food was grown to provide nutrition to people. Most of the food that is thrown out is wholesome, fresh, edible food. Let's rescue it and feed it to hungry people. One in eight people in San Diego are food insecure. Although it is easier for businesses and restaurants, anyone can donate food, including schools, families, and other organizations. You can definitely volunteer with um, you know, the San Diego Food System Alliance or Feeding San Diego. Those two organizations work with lots of food pantries on the food donation side. Um, another thing you can do as an involved citizen in your community is ask the restaurants and cafes that you frequently go to what they're doing to reduce food waste and what they're doing to uh, donate any food that's left over at the end of the night. Lower on the hierarchy is composting food waste. Food recovery also includes diverting organic waste from the landfills, thus recovering and reusing that food, whether that be through donations or composting. So it's important that citizens compost or find a facility that will compost for them because uh, landfills have limited lifespans. When they reach capacity, they're gonna shut down and where will our trash and uh, food waste go then? So taking your food waste from your kitchen or your yard, or maybe you have a school or business that has excess uh, food that's being thrown away, we can simply um, compost and return those nutrients to the soil. This process takes time and effort. To learn more about food recovery and ways you can help, visit the city's website. Remember, anyone can help.